In the past, you said we need our stuff to run on NVIDIA GPUs, but also on other hardware. We're mostly using just CUDA and things like PyTorch. And also we use things like Onyx and NCNN for deployment. Can you explain these three concepts? So, uh, so NVIDIA GPUs, uh, NVIDIA is a company, a, a GPU is a, is a graphics, originally it's a graphics processing unit, though nothing, they were re, rejiggering the acronym to me, general purpose processing unit. So they make these big GPUs that were originally used for gaming, uh, but now they're used for all kinds of machine learning and you put them in like a desktop computer. I don't think they make any GPUs that fit in laptops. Uh, so now other companies also have GPUs, but uh, so NVIDIA has its, its own language that you can program in to run things on the GPUs. It's called CUDA, and it's very specialized to the specifics of the hardware. So when people write code for like high performance machine learning applications, they often write it in CUDA. So it'll give you the best performance on NVIDIA's hardware, but it won't run on other hardware. So most of the training code that we and others use, use it can only run on NVIDIA. But when you actually deploy your models, when you use them in, in the wild, you might want them to run on a mobile phone or on a laptop or just on a cloud machine that doesn't have any GPU at all. So basically, uh, for deployment, we, we need to use a, a framework that supports those other hardwares and also that is relatively lightweight because PyTorch is a very big framework that takes up too much storage. You're not, you don't want to deploy PyTorch on your mobile phone. It's just going to fill up the disk. So uh, there's this interchange format called Onyx. I think it's originally from Microsoft. That basically, if you have a machine learning model in something like PyTorch or TensorFlow, you can export it to Onyx. And then there's frameworks like Onyx itself, but also things like NCNN that can take that Onyx, we can call it a model, and can uh, like spit out some code that you can compile for like a mobile phone or something or, or other hardware and, uh, and run it there. So basically people use that uh, when they want to deploy their models and that's what we do too. I know we use PyTorch to do calculations on GPUs. Is this right? Yeah. So, I mean, PyTorch is, is a machine learning framework that we train the models in and we define the models in. Uh, and it supports both CPU and GPU, and it has very good support for NVIDIA's hardware. So, yeah, we do use that. What is Onyx? Why replace PyTorch for neural network computations? I think this is our main question for you today. Yeah, so it's th there's no reason that we couldn't use PyTorch. It's just that it's a very bloated piece of software, uh, and it and it requires. Firstly, it's in Python, right? Uh, and Py Py, and it requires a lot of different uh, other modules in Python, other packages. And basically, if you were to install PyTorch on on your mobile phone, it would like probably take up many gigabytes, tens of gigabytes maybe of storage. It's not good. Like nobody would want to install your application. So Onyx is a much more lightweight framework for deploying models. And it'll it'll spit out just the code you need to uh to run that specific model. It's not gonna out, it's not gonna include code that you know is generic. Okay. What is NCNN? We answered this question below. Do you have anything to add to what Tencent is saying about NCNN? Do we always use it on mobile phones? Uh, so yeah, NCNN is a bit like Onyx. It's kind of, you could say that it's Tencent's version of Onyx. And I think they slightly extended the Onyx format or, or maybe it just takes in uh, 
the Onyx format, I don't remember. But I think it's easier to extend than Onyx. And I don't know, you know, my, my guy Fang Jun wrote most of the code that involves this, and he has some reason why he chose NCNN. He says it, it's well structured or something like that. And I think there's certain platforms that we have to use NCNN and we can't use Onyx. Uh, yeah. And do we only use it on mobile phones? Uh, I think so. I There's three different versions of Sherpa, I think. There's like Sherpa and Sherpa NCNN and Sherpa Onyx. And, and I think which one you're supposed to use uh, depends on the platform. Let, let, let's look at the scroll up. Let's look at the to oh, Linux, Mac OS, uh, Windows, Embedded, Linux. So it's saying you can use it in those situations. Uh, I, I'd have to ask Fang Jun to be sure. Okay. Yeah. It, Wait, let me just be listed there, but yeah, you choose one of those three, I think, depending on the specific platform. Okay. Is that it? Uh, I think so. 